hello all and welcome to this another video on the five minute series so as i told you in my last session uh, in this session we are going to talk about the master data within master data again we will divide this topic into multiple videos we'll start with the general ledger master data today and then uh, we will talk about the profit center cost centers in the coming videos so let's get started with uh, uh, the sap gl master data so in SAP, in order to create a GL, we go to transaction code FS00. This is a transaction code to uh, create the GL master data. Now, once you come onto this screen, you may not be able to see this uh, left panel. Okay, so this is a very uh, good uh, hierarchy, which tells you if you want to select a particular GL, it is always a very handy thing to do. But normally, sometimes you may not be able to see this left panel. And in order to bring this hierarchy, what you can do is you can go to settings, hierarchy display, right? So by default, if this left panel is not appearing, this means that this button might be active. Okay. So for example, if I just show you how it will look like if I take on that indicator. So when I open it for the next time, you will find the left panel is not appearing. So if this is a case, if you're not able to see the left hierarchy, again, just go to settings, hierarchy display display account in navigation tree enter and as you can see system is clearly telling you that this new settings that you have done will be taking effect once you restart the transaction so i am closing this transaction and restarting it you will be able to see the left panel okay so now what you are able to see here is let's talk about creating a new gl account now whenever you create a new gl account there are you can see there are these options if you want to find a particular gl which is already created you can click on this button if you want to create a new gl you can use this button if you want to display the existing gl or change the existing gl these are the buttons if you want to copy for example if you want to copy this gl account to some other gl account you can click on this button then there is a lock button block button so for example if i want to block this particular gl okay i want this uh, gl to be blocked for posting i want this gl to be blocked for planning block this gl in all the company codes then i can take on this indicator so that is how you can block a particular gl then you have the option of deleting set for deletion so normally once the gl is created a uh, system we normally don't delete the gl uh, particularly if there are any line items which are already posted to the gl or if there are any balances available in that particular GL, it is definitely not recommended to delete the GL. What we can do is we can do this. Uh, we can say mark the deletion flag on. Okay, which means system will not delete this GL immediately, but there is a process of archiving. So when the archiving process will work, it will verify there are some pre-checks that there are no balances in this particular GL. Okay, and if that checks are passed then this gl will actually get archived and it will not be available in your system okay so these are the different options that you can see from here and obviously if you want to see the gls of some other company code then you can click on this change company code button okay let's assume i want to see this for the standard company code which sap has provided uh, that is 1710 okay so system will be able to show me the gl accounts which are created in 1710 okay and now within this uh, these are account groups if you have uh, watched my previous video i explained what are the account groups in the chart of account so you can see these are the different account groups which are created in this uh, the chart of account which this company code is using All right now let's understand how to create a new gl although i'm not going to explain the end to end process because this is a five minute series just a high level but I'll explain you some of the important fields in the GL master data. Okay, let's take an example of any particular GL. Let's go with this particular GL. Okay, and uh, maybe I'll just restart this transaction. So FS00. And I want to see the details of this particular GL. Okay, now some of the important fields. This is a GL code. In our last session, we discussed that the maximum length of the GL account can be 10 characters not more than that so you can have six characters seven eight nine ten whatever you want this is a gl code which has to be unique okay this is a company code in which you are creating that gl and then if you come down uh, the first thing that you need to provide this is specifically in sap s for hana in sap ecc we don't add this field called as gl account type 
okay all or you can say it was there but there were only two values either the balance sheet account or the profit and loss account but in sap as per hana there are five different type of gl accounts okay starting with let's i'm starting in the reverse way first one is balance sheet so all the gl accounts that you are creating as a balance sheet account you will use the account type as balance sheet account then the secondary cost so even in ecc also we had the secondary cost elements but normally in ecc we were not creating the uh, gls as the cost elements but now sorry uh, the other way around normally in sap ecc we were not creating the secondary cost elements as a gl account but in sap as per hana gl account and cost elements are merged and that is the reason even if you want to create a secondary cost element it has to be created as a gl account for those of you who are new to sap completely these secondary cost gl accounts are only used to post in co okay so if you are only posting in co without impacting fi then you can go for secondary cost gls then there is primary cost or revenue so this is mainly for expense and revenue accounts okay primary means this will be used in both fi as well as co so whenever you are going to make any posting using this primary cost or revenue gls system is also going to ask you the corresponding co object okay then there is non operating expense or income completely opposite of primary cost or revenue so this is expense or income account but this is only going to be used in fi this is not going to post anything in co okay and finally there is a cash account this is normally for bank accounts for which you want to perform the reconciliation right so simple in another words if i explain you balance sheet accounts are only used in fi secondary cost are only used in co primary cost or revenues are used in fi as well as co and non operating expenses or income are only used in fi not posted in co right and cash account as i told you for bank reconciliation related gs okay next field is account group which again i already explained you these are the different account groups you can see this is coming under income statement accounts you can see this is a group so this account group explanation we have understood in our last session just follow that i think you will get the idea uh, apart from that some of the important fields is short text and long text so you can see here you can provide the short text to the gl account okay which is restricted to 20 characters you cannot have more than 20 characters here and long text is restricted to 50 characters right so if you want to have a long text you can utilize this if your text is small enough then you can use the same uh, description to both the fields okay and then if you are using chart of account you have to provide the group account number here if you are not using the group chart of account in your uh, company code then you can keep it blank or it will not ask you to provide this information at all okay next step is control data in control data some of the important fields are account currency so by default whenever you create a new gl account currency is defaulted as a company code currency okay so let's say if i am having a company in india every time i create a new gl account inr will be the default currency because that is a currency that you assign to your company code but in some of the cases we may need to change this account currency okay for example if you are creating the bank account uh, which are managed in foreign currencies let's say you have a, a bank account which is managed in usd in that particular case you have to change the account currency here okay so most of the gl accounts 90 95% of the gl accounts will have the account currency same as your company code currency next is tax category so this is related to the tax field okay so there are n number of uh, options available here so i think this is related to tax let's not go into the detail in this particular video and then let me explain what are the other important fields so this is fine not much important fields here let's go to create bank interest tab here the field status group okay so we understood in one of the session there is something called as field status variant uh what we understood in field status variant it controls which fields are mandatory which fields are optional which fields are hidden when you are posting the accounting document so whenever you will be using this gl account at the time of posting which gl account will be mandatory which gl account will be optional that gets determined based on this field status group so normally we assign the logical group so since this is a revenue account we are creating we have assigned the revenue related field status group 
if you are creating the gl account for example for bank related gls okay let me show you this example so let's say this is my bank account so for bank account we provide the field status group which is related to bank accounts because based on that some of the fields will become mandatory and optional so if you double click here you will come to know for this field status group which fields are required and which fields are optional you can see assignment number is the mandatory field for this field status group that we are using here right so this way uh, you will be able to determine uh, the field status group now apart from this also there are few other important uh, maybe i'll open some other gl or let's go through this one in control data i just wanted to show you something called as open item management or uh, it is not appearing here but let me try to show you by some other gl or maybe the grr account for example okay yeah so other important field here is open item management uh normally we tick this indicator only if this gl account is a clearing account clearing account means uh it is having the postings just for the uh for some time and later on the posting is going to be cleared for example grir account so grir account normally will have zero balance when the invoice and gr both are uh, booked in the system right so it is a clearing account telling you whether if there are any open grs or if there are any open irs right same same way the other examples of the clearing account can be a bank clearing account if you have incoming and outgoing bank accounts which you are using for the reconciliation purpose those accounts also we keep it as open item management uh, if there is a question if you feel there is no line item management here it was there in sap ecc the answer is in sap s4 hana line item management is by default active for each and every gl that is the reason there is no field where you can say whether the line item should be active or not so i hope you got a good amount of idea now on what exactly is a gl account what are the important fields in the gl master data in my next video i'll talk about the profit centers and cost centers thank you